Hello and welcome everybody, I hope that you're all good. Today is the beginning of the Bug Out event. Bugs, maybe not the thing that we're chasing today because Shiny Pan Sage has been released globally, which is awesome, so we're gonna be chasing that. Hopefully it's spawning around in the wild. Some shinies that I'm looking for, obviously the new Venipede shiny, I'm hoping the spawns are decent. And there was something else I was hunting, I've completely forgotten. I guess a second shiny combi would be nice. But we've also got the Daily Adventure Incense to do, which I'm hoping brings some Pokemon of the Avian variety from Galar. <laughs> 10 o'clock, swung round, and as you can see, of course it's just where I've come from. Brilliant. Grubbin and its evolutionary family is now available in the game, which the final stage is Vikavolt. It's an electric bug type, not overly sure if it's any good at all. I know Galvantula is the same typing, and that's very prevalent in the GBL game. We'll go for the Pan Sage, loop through Walpole, check the spawns, and then on the way up, we'll activate the Daily Adventure Incense to see what we get off it. That is the plan. Pan Sage shiny check. No. It's weather boosted, so that I guess is a good thing. Boosted candy, is it any good? Three star, not too bad. Obviously we got this in Seattle, so it's not new, but it is something to chase. Venipede, double check. It goes brown. I'm wearing kind of the color of shiny Venipede to hopefully goad it into existence as soon as possible. Shelm, ah, that was it. I couldn't remember this one. I didn't get this on Global Go Fest, so I'm chasing Shelm a little bit. There is a lot of research to do, which is great. So we'll try and work our way through that, get that done and dusted this morning. Well, I guess we're ticking Grubbin off the list. It's right here. This funky looking kind of termite thing. Uh, we'll pineapp it, don't question why. Um, <laughs> We'll just pineapple it, see if we can get as much candy. That'll be something good to evolve in this video, if we can get it. You do need to evolve Charabug into Vikivolt near a Magnetic Lure. You need to be near a Magnetic Lure module in order to activate it. It's much like Magnezone and Nose Pass, but into the Pokedex. Nice. Ticking off a, is that a Gen 6? I think it's a Gen 6 family. No, it's Gen 7, what am I talking about? Idiot. <laughs> Do get boosted candy as well if you hit some decent throws so get your excellence in people and there's two times catch xp for decent throws there's a lot of xp to be had in this event actually mental xp we have basically done stage one which needs to walk two kilometers and there is a collection challenge which i almost forgot about we need to catch carablast and then evolve a bunch of other stuff and somehow find a skaroopy and a pineco so i think it's time to drop the daily incense we need to be moving Let's move. We'll see what the first spawn is going to be, shall we? If it's going to be anything good, we shall report back. We've got 15 minutes to blast this. Let's just see how we do. First up, Caterpie. It's looking a lot like this weevil is going to be the final catch of the daily adventure. Incense. Where do we end up? What do we get? 24. Oh, so interesting. It hasn't caught the weevil because I caught it after the timer run out. And we had a worm pool run. So technically 26 were caught. Which isn't too bad, to be fair, but as you can see, a lot of rubbish. Shelm it, please? We have done the research, so we've walked the 2k, which is excellent, so we can claim some resources, which I won't say no to, in the first encounter. Beedrill. I mean, Stardust? And Candy, if you're looking to power up a Mega. 2xL Candy, nice. Is it terrible? Standard. And the final encounter of this page, Cool combi. Imagine if that was shiny. And then we get a lure module and a bit of XP, which is decent if you're chasing that level 50, 176 million in total. Shedinja, which the only way to get Shedinja still is through these little special research quests. 1XL for it, sweet. And it's almost a 93, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. But now part two, oh my God. The collection challenge, we found a Skaroopy. Haven't found a Pineco yet, which is a problem. So, um. I might need a level one raid. Okay, something maybe maybe a bit interesting. Um, just doing the evolutions to get the collection challenge out of the way, because it's frankly not that interesting to evolve a spinner rack. But Ladybird, we need to evolve it to whatever the evolve form is. And I actually don't have Ledian. I don't have the shiny of it. And considering I'm pretty sure I've got more than one shiny Ladybird, we'll do a fresh shiny evolution. Let's check the stats of them, actually. Let's check the stats of someone's dead, dead, dead. Do you know what, this is just evolve the one we got in Seattle. We got this literally after getting the Hondo Darkrai below the Space Needle. So we'll evolve this one, collection challenge, ticking off a shiny in the shiny decks, which is always good fun. I haven't seen the shiny. Oh, it's, it keeps the orange, I respect that. I like when it sort of 
it's different. It's different enough. It keeps its colour palette nice. Into the bag, brand new shiny. And now, shiny check Venipede. Ah, I just, I just know I'm not going to get that. Carablast though, wouldn't say no to more of those. But collection challenge wise, we've now got to evolve Grubbin and somehow find a Pineco. Good freaking luck. <laughs> just pop in the buddy, the Hundo Palkia from Randy. Again, thank you very much, a week ago, but you get a little bug party on the snapshots. <gasps> In oh, get away, no, incense. Incense had a pineco on it that I needed for the collection challenge and it freaking despawns because of a stupid weedle off of the snapshot. Okay, I don't like them anymore. <laughs> I bet you that's like going to be the only pineco that appears. That would have been collection challenge in the bag, pretty much. Come on. Right. And kind of everything else is dead. Thank you, Total. We've just done our very first Mega Sizzle. So it has a shiny potential, of course. And it's actually a pretty decent Mega. It's got a good attack stat. 225 Mega Energy, which is really nice. It needs to be green. Green would have been a nice shiny to get, but hey ho mega energy sorted now i have just seen on social media this thing is togekiss level raid boss difficulty to catch apparently apparently not for me uh, <laughs> i was just about i was just prepared for a fight that's why i found a bench for goodness sake two xl candy i actually need xls for the hundo this one's not too bad but so thank you very much my very first mega skizzle sizzle sizzle raid however you pronounce it then the peed off incense disappears again. Oh my god, seriously? Oh, and we'll jump in that Genesect if we can snipe it quickly. Chill Drive Genesect is now here. It is kind of one of the more useless. You know, you don't really need Chill Drive on it, I have to say. Did we miss it? Raid Lob is expired. Research completed, we've hatched a freaking egg. <laughs> so we can claim Golden Rouses, Ultra Balls, not Ultra Balls, normal Pokeballs, Great Balls, some Beedrill Mega Energy, and a grabbin. It's not too bad. 404. Error. That's why I wanted to name my bug out event if uh, if you listen to episode 55 of the podcast. Way back when. And this one is a venipede. If it could have been shiny, that would have been stellar. And of course, every venipede's been a little bastard to catch. So, stage two done. We should get auto complete for the next one. So you get a nice little pose, which I think is quite funky. I might actually change out the rock star badge uh, okay fine pincer i guess pincer gets a mega in the future that's one to look out for venipede fresh Ugh, no shiny we've got to claim all of this and there's three more encounters caterpie oh. doesn't have a cowboy hat i don't care next up wimple second to last it's the basic bug types basic bitch bug types all right, there we go. But finally, some Skizzle Mega Energy, which is always nice, 50 of it, and this final encounter will be Scyther that isn't shiny. Scyther does have a boosted shiny rate, just to let you know. For a bug event, it's not listed as a spawn. <laughs> it's not spawning, which is very weird. Or I haven't seen a single Scyther in the wild in the last hour and two minutes. Dead stats, nice. So, we may have had no sparkles, but if I was just searching through, seeing what we've got, if we search up zero attack and zero defense, early this morning, we've somehow picked up a 0% horsey from Walpole Park, which is a nest. It's a horsey nest at the moment. 0% in the bag, which is really nice, to go alongside of the quillfish. That's my 28th 0% that I haven't thrown away inadvertently. Well, I caved. <laughs> I saw a pineco raid and thought, I haven't seen a single pineco off incense since the one that ran away. I haven't seen one in the wild. So, free pass on a pineco that's not shiny. Oh yes. I don't, it's not the weather boost. So, I mean, we've got sunny boost, so bug types are not boosted, but I haven't seen a single pineco. At least I've seen three or four skaroopy, which are the rare ones. I've seen two dwebble. So that's the second to last. Collection challenge done is a dead, Three star, going in the boot straight away. I don't care. We've finally got a Genesect. Chill Drive gets Techno Blast Ice type, which is nice. And uh, we've got Sunny Boost. We might go for a solo, or I might just invite people for the hell of it. Small Squad is in. Thank you, 
gin, got Petra in there, and one of the live stream donation squad. Thank you very much for having me. And Cedric as well. Sweet. Five of us. Genesect is hysterically easy. It's double weak to fire, and it's very weak anyway. So you can solo it, you can duo it, and just like that, just like clockwork, it's in the bin. Non boosters, 1916, I think 2395 was the weather boosted. We've got 1881, which is horrendous. You really want the Techno Blast water type douse drive, but this is the final chance to get it as a non shiny. I'm pretty sure the next time Genesect comes around, it will have it shiny for whatever form it is, because we've now had this is the last drive of the five to be released, and I forgot how attacky this thing is. Let's get one more on it, and if it doesn't catch, we're catching off camera because life's too short. Point proven. We've got two make two excellent throws for the bugs type. Psst, gives you an Incarda. I think there's also some other stuff in there. The one thing that's ticked me off, okay, I've looked online, the quests, all right? We know Combi, okay, is only in quests. Not only is it quest locked, it is in a quest alongside another reward of so waddle so if you do which i have the 10 berries i think it is you can either get a shiny combi or a so waddle hardly fair we've got a potential i think combi task by the way combi is coming off snapshots which is quite nice and there are quite a few snapshots you can get so it's a female combi it's not shiny but it's good it can come from research which is nice we got Swaddle, I'd be rather hacked off. The final thing to do for the collection challenge is to evolve a Grubbin, and I might as well just get the Pokédex done. So, we're gonna drop a Magnetic Lure so that we can evolve it to Vickyfalls. So, I think we've got a semi-decent three-starer, you know, semi-decent three-starer, which is nice. So we're gonna send it over to Charabug, I believe it's pronounced. If I'm getting it wrong, whatever. <laughs> so it turns from a Grub, a Termite, into a box. Well, I guess a caterpillar kind of thing, a square caterpillar. But into the Pokédex it goes, nicely done. It, I think the memes of this from however many years ago it was for, for Sun and Moon um, is that it looks like a school bus <laughs> or something like that. No matter, we don't actually have enough candy. Now we have enough candy. We'll just send it over to Vicky Vol. I don't think this is overly amazing in terms of being usable in the game. Let's just see what it looks like design-wise. Looks kind of cool, actually. Actually, I rate that design. It looks kind of sick, you know. That's nice, actually. Not too shabby. Cool, pick your fault. Spark, Exis, or somebody in the comments let me know, is it a PvP useful mod? And that is collection challenge. Sorted. So we can switch to the bug, the bug catcher pose. Yay. Well, I think that's going to do it, really, for this bug out event intro, because... Quite frankly, there's not much else to do that I can do before the live stream. So I'm gonna get this video out for you ASAP. Venipede spawns seem all right. They're not too bad. They're better than Pan Sage, which at the moment is weather boosted. So Pan Sage spawns are very limited and I haven't seen an unknown T rage yet. But uh, Venipede is a good hunt. There are loads of shinies to go for. So if you're needing a specific shiny, Ian Waterfall is chasing Spinarak. My best advice is look at the little schedule in the event tab. What? is going to be featured as the mini spotlight potential off of the back of in-person raid. So today is Wormpool. The 14th, this Sunday, is Venipede. Genuinely, Sunday is the day to raid in person. Get a little group together if you can do. Raid, you need three or more trainers to take down specific raids. If it's an in-person raid, genuinely, it doesn't really matter if it's a shiny potential or whatever, it's a mythical for the Genesect. Raid in person, best of luck hunting for shiny Venipede or whatever shiny you're going for. But it's cool, there's XP and candy boost with for those who need it. On the note of um, grinds, I put a Twitter poll out. I think the view is very, very clear. We're doing a 24 hour grind on Monday the 15th <laughs> for this event, which for the first time in a, I think forever, it's actually going to be midway towards the end of an event. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited for that little 24 hour grind sesh. Little is underestimating how bad it's going to be. But there's loads of shinies to go for. Uh, I can't do it on the Sunday because I'm coming back from Chess and I'll be knackered. I want to say thank you very much for watching everybody. Please make sure to subscribe if you are new with the notifications on so you don't miss the uploads or live streams. And smash the like button if you enjoyed the video. I would greatly appreciate your support. I appreciate everybody who's on the Patreon, who takes the support up to the next level, who makes the content on this channel possible, backing it, etc. There's lots of perks on the Patreon, so it's linked in the description if you fancy checking it out. Best of luck for the Galarian Sigzagoon community day. Again, as I said yesterday, Ian and myself and Francesco are up in Chester. So if you haven't seen the information, 
come to Chester Town Hall at 10.30 in the morning and we're hopefully gonna have a cracking day. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I will say, do take care. <laughs>